Good evening, welcome back to the Sim Shack. It is now Thursday, 28th of March, 2024. I'm Sim UK, and for the first time in a very long time, I'm going to take a look at Train Sim World. I'm hoping it's improved. I'm not convinced it has. Brand new profile. I'm going to try and look at this like it were a new game, even though we know it's not. Um, I'm already struggling with this concept because uh, if I go and look at the controls and the advanced controls, even though I have got a rail driver, um, the fact that you still cannot change the key binds for it is ridiculous. Um, that was a problem right from the very get-go, uh, and they still haven't bothered to fix that, so I'm disappointed already. But today I'm going to take a look at what I hope to be a change in the tide uh, to the trains choose a route that route there we go okay so I've never been on this route I've been to Blackpool once <laughs> I went to Blackpool on a school trip and um, we all ended up in the pub by lunchtime everybody in all the boys at least were drunk and um, I ended up getting robbed by some homeless guy for 20 quid. So, uh, okay. The outside is... Mo oh, I can actually go outside. That's unexpected. Some beautiful old telephones. I haven't seen a good old British telephone box for a long time. I think this is set sort of in the early 90s or something. So this is Preston Station. Never been there. I'm sure it looks exactly right. So... Oh, I like the buses. So that's kind of cool. I mean, just being able to walk out and... Just take in the surroundings and just have a... A little bit of extra detail outside of the station itself. That's kind of nice. So this must be Victorian, the station, mustn't it? Hey, look at this. The station Hotel and the Old Vic. I wonder if they actually are buildings that are there. Wouldn't surprise me. If they'd uh, gone to that level of detail. Well, I remember seeing those. I haven't seen one of them for a long time either. It's set in the 80s, is it? 86, 87. Okay, I stand corrected. Thank you very much. Some of those vehicles really do look age appropriate. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Blackpool by train. That looks real. That looks like a proper poster. Oh, you can't go that way. So they used to do, I don't know if they still do it, I think it was Train Sim World 2. They used to do like posters and stuff jotted about along the routes. And you had to sort of go and fix them and put the posters up and stuff like that. I kind of enjoyed that. It was something other than driving a train to do. Wow, they are old. Look at them. Jeepers. Even for 1980, that's old. <clears throat> Coffee shop and bar. Traveller's fair. Surely these are... Interacty type... Ah! It is one. Okay, well, let's go back and do the other one. Let's try this one. Just works first time this time. Okay, well, that's two done. This one might not be. Maybe I wasn't close enough. Yeah, it could be. Ah, that was one as well. Okay, cool. Right. So that's three we've done. No idea how many there are, because I've got no on-screen stuff. Whenever I went to Woking, or through Woking, I used to grab a um, flapjack and a cup of tea. <laughs> I still remember it now. It's probably the best flapjack I've ever had. 
absolutely delicious they were. Oh, can I go in? Oh, wow. Sorry, apologise. <coughs> Service, what the hell is this thing? Ah, I didn't want a gingerbread, man. I wanted a flapjack. Styrofoam cups, I remember them very well. Bloody useless they were. There's a lot of people coming out of the toilets. That's oh, a spawn point. Look at that. <laughs> Mass exodus of the toilets. That's crazy. Fantastic. The, well, I'm getting solid 60 FPS at the moment. That's really good. There's no trains in the area, though. So maybe that's sort of helping a lot. Oh, hello. Two gingerbread man cookies I've had. Preston PN. Go down this very nice looking, very posh, very Victorian looking. Victorian slash Georgian, not entirely sure which. Railways can be dangerous. If you like feeding birds, buy a budgie. Feeding of birds on this station is both a nuisance and discomfort to fellow passengers. It's also a health hazard. Please don't feed the pigeons. Oh, one of the old waiting rooms. I remember these. Freezing bloody cold they were. Absolutely freezing. So I can get over on that side. Wow, this looks even older. This must be like the original part of the station, I would imagine. Let me just check. I oh, know, I've already been down there. Ah! <laughs> That's me jumping on. I thought this train was going, and it's that one. Can't get out now. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's... that's super cool. Oh, no, you can open it from this side. No? So you can't open it from this side, because there's no handle. You always have to open the window. You grab the handle, put your arm through. That's really cool. That is very cool. Unless I'm just doing that wrong. I don't think I am. Oh, look at this. What's that then, Tez? Enlighten me. What is this bad boy? Class 8 shunter. Nice. And I guess I can't get in it, no? Oh, there we go. Oh, steady on. Steady on! How do I get out of my seat? Oof. Nearly nicked a train. Yeah, I nearly stole it. Should we go up to the next station and see what's going on? Let's take a, a nice little jaunt this way and hope I don't hit any red lights. I can't actually see very well. I think we're clear to go. Oh. Fantastic audio. Oh. Why will I get a spad? That red light's not for us, is it? That's for them, I think, isn't it? Oh, we're moving. We're moving like I've still got a break on somewhere. Oh, what? That was for us. Damn it, that was for us. You were right. I take it back. All right, here we go. Doesn't say... It doesn't have the 4C on there, but I'm pretty sure we'll catch it this time. I've got five minutes to get down the end. Here we go. Ah, 
Ah, I know what this is. I can't think of the name of it. Tez? Would you remind me? Oh, wow. Look how many people are on this train. It's a flipping... Oh. Oh. Well, that's pretty cool. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. Excuse me. Pardon me. Sorry. Thank you. Ready when you are, boss. That's nice. That is the noise I used to make as well. Pacer, that's it. That's what I was trying to think of. 142 Pacer. Lovely. Trains for Platform 4C go off the map anyway. They go to Kaln, and this is an evening where they go to Ormskirk. Okay. So is this not... A viable train to be on then. That's annoying. That sounds promising. Oh, that's a. Uh, that's the. Uh, I forget what you call him. The dude at the back with his buzzer. What's that called? Oh, nice audio. The guard, that's him. It's going to chuck me out, is it? Oh, that's annoying. So I have to go south, then, is what you're saying. Lovely bit of architecture there. Divine work. So FPS has taken a slight dip. We're only down by 5, 55 FPS. That's still pretty good. Yellow mate. A lot of detail in the uh, surrounding area. Like I say, I've never been to Blackpool, never been to Preston on the train. I don't have to go south, I just can't go from platform 4C. What did you say? We'll see, yeah. So I've picked the only platform that I can't go on. Genius. I, I was looking to see if his AWS was turned on, but I couldn't see. I'm guessing it's one of these switches over here, or one of these ones. I wonder what would happen if I turned it on on his behalf. So what do I press? F9, F8? No. 7? Six, F5, F4, F3, F2, F1. Okay, maybe it's nine. There we go, that's what I was looking for. So we're gonna go up, end up going off over here now. Typical. Well, at least we'll get to see it.
considering it's a route to nowhere <coughs> it's still quite nicely modeled everywhere it doesn't look half assed or anything So somewhere round about here is where we're going to die. There you go. Well, at least I've seen it. The thing to the left with the flap over it, that's the AWS. Okay. That for one is over here. As we now know. Same train. Lovely stuff. We'll just hop on. Oh, there's plenty of seats this time. Take a little perch down here. Come on, driver. See you later. Oh, we are going south. Okay. Oh, this is north. I thought that was north. So am I right in saying, Tez, that these paces were effectively buses? Hence the bus-like doors. Is that right? If I got... Or have I got myself muddled up? Heck of a lot of detail. We're going northwest to Blackpool. At least we're going to Blackpool. That's a good start. Wow, look at that. That's that's a proper modelled building over there. Wow. That's quite impressive. Oh, there's another one. Bloody hell. Totally different design. Equally well modelled. I like that. So oh, many chimneys. That's one to spot Blackpool Tower gets a stick of rock. Even though I'm getting solid 60 FPS, I'm still seeing stutters. There's another one. It's nice audio. stutter there. It doesn't like me looking around too much, does it? Okay, I'm starting to spot a couple of drops. We hit 33 FPS there for a second. It, it 
I don't think it is me looking around. I think it's stuff loading in. Even if I don't move my head, I think it's going to stutter. There's the non-animated cows. I thought they'd have got rid of them by now, but... Clearly not. The chimneys are real, though. We hit 16 FPS there. That's the lowest we've been. Very believable transitions. Very nice routes. That's nice. Solwick. Have a little look around Solwick. Oh, we have no control over the doors, do we? Like a their bus doors, so to speak. Oh, this is nice. Modelling is good, textures not so great. Some bricks and mortar and stuff laying around. It's only a small station, I might be able to uh, get all the things done and get back on the train. If I leg it. I don't think there's anything up here, is there? Okay. Let's try and get back on the train as quick as I can. Everybody got off. Everybody wanted to come here. I oh, know. There's a couple of people left. You open these. Nope. You're right in the front with matey. Bound for Blackpool South, so I'll end up going past Pleasure, Pleasure Beach on single track. Lovely. That'll look nice. You see, I don't mind the wheat, the bales being static, because that's normal, but the sheep and the cows... 
I'd almost rather not have them, so to speak. A nice old farm. going to drop my settings down to medium. See if that improves the amount of stutter. Oh, God. Got a lot of flicker now. Try and zoom my way out of that. seems to be causing a, a lot of popping. Trees are going mental now. the approaching village, that's nice. Thank you for the ride, sir. Kirkham and Wesham, okay. Thought there might be a gingerbread man in there. It's a long old platform, blimey. Pretty desolate area in the middle of nowhere. Has he gone and left me? Nope, he's still there. I think that's it. I think I've done all the things. What the hell? Golf clubs? Oh, I saw a gingerbread man. Oh, that ticket office is nice. I'd like to look in there, but I can't. You've even got a little bit of outside-y. That's very cool. Didn't even have to wait for the next train. That's cool. 
Well timed. It's like a water tower. Maybe some gas tanks next to it. Still getting those micro stutters. Kirkham and Wesham takes express and semi-fast trains. That's why the platforms are long. Hey, Stewie. <laughs> Uh, yeah, first one to spot um, Blackpool Tower gets a stick of rock. That's the agreement. Yeah, we're still getting those micro stutters. It's not dropping a lot, it's dropping like 10 FPS. It's causing a bit of a stutter. Ooh. Yowza. It doesn't look like there's enough space for another train, does it? You know when to expect it then, Tez. Inspector Schmidt is uh, a very good game. Uh, it made me laugh a lot. The dialogue is funny. The fact that everybody sounds like Arnold Schwarzenegger is funny. But at the same time, it's also really good. What the hell are they? What is that? Canola or something. Yeah, Dr. Schmidt, uh, Inspector Schmidt, rather. A really, really good game. It's got loads of little bugs in it as well, which are also quite funny. But um, I've got a few ideas about who the killer is, but I don't know for sure. I'm going to have to go back to it and... Uh, have a little think. I think I've got a re review going up on it tonight on the main channel on Sumi K Reviews. Half price at the moment if you're interested in that game.
Oh, it started raining, look. That's pretty groovy. Did I do the Poirot one on the train? No, I didn't know there was a Poirot on the train. Yes, how do I get a drive-by? I can't remember the button. Is it eight? Yeah. <laughs> right, I'll answer my own question. Ah. Try again. Such a huge delay between when you press F12 and when it takes the picture. See that archway on the door? They've captured that. They've even captured the cross window at the top there. And all the signalling is, is very accurate. The only difference I can really see is that that 20 mile an hour sign is different. And they've put in like a, I don't know, some sort of electrical junction box that doesn't really exist. It's back up and running. Oh, fantastic. Apologies for that. I, d I don't know how much you saw or how much you could hear, but the um, the replay buffer on OBS started up accidentally, and that's what killed the stream. Wow, look at the detail on that. Rossley BR. I feel like that's something important. I don't know if it is, but uh, I feel like it is. Sam, thank you for the subscription, buddy. Much appreciated. And thank you for your patience during the uh, stutters there. Thank you very much. Oh. I very much doubt, Leighton, I very much doubt we're going to be able to do all these things and get back on this train. But we'll try. Oh, there's one that side, look. Was risky. Oh, Jesus. So I'm pretty convinced that um, Leighton is going to be incredibly accurate, bearing in mind that um, I checked the last station quite in quite some detail and um, it was, it, was, it was incredibly impressive how accurate it was. Nothing to do there. Can I get it up and over the top and back on the train before it leaves? That would be a no then. <laughs> no, wait for me. I wish I knew what that was. I'm going to say a 146, but uh, I haven't done any research, so I don't know. I'm so alien to this at the moment. Oh, hello. We were very close to getting back on that train, actually. I doubt there's any information here about when the next one is. It's one thing I think they should have. I mean, this is great, but I'd love to see a timetable written down. Right, let's have a little look at Leighton and see how accurate it is. Oh, don't let me through then. Go and stand this side, just so we are uh, in the right place for the next train. And a 
have a look at Leighton Station. Arkham Fan 96, thank you very much indeed for the follow. Thank you. Uh, I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah, Leighton Blackpool. Oh, look, it's actually the station. I'm trying to figure out whereabouts they're stood. Yes, and it's over here, and that looks pretty accurate. Bearing in mind, we're in 1980, and they're... Uh... Yeah, look at that. That is pretty accurate. Although there's no bridge. Oh, hang on. The bridge is the other end. So they've put the bridge the wrong end. Oh, dear. <laughs> that's, that's a minor problem, right? Nobody's going to notice that, except for some weirdo like me who actually looks. Yeah, so you can see... And the bridge... Well, unless, of course... In 1980, it was there, and they took it down and replaced it with this green one. That's theoretically possible. But yeah, that's pretty accurate. You've got the chimneys in the right place. They even look the same. You've even got the fascias looking really identical. Bloody hell. The colour of the doors are correct. The number of doors are correct. They've even got a seat in exactly the right place. They've even got that little light, or whatever it is, sticking out of the wall there. That's really quite impressive. Very accurate, with exception of... Angel Interceptor, thank you for the follow, thank you. Class 101. Thank you for the correction. I'm uh, I'm rusty to say the least. One thing I don't understand, and I'm sure they fixed this a long time ago. Why is nobody getting on the train? I mean, I know that's an AI train, but they don't even appear to be getting on, on the train that I'm on. Ah, have a look on the map. Thank you, Alan. That's a good idea. Does it show me? Do I, do I have to be closer in? God, I could be waiting forever. I don't see a train anywhere. That can't be right. I'm going blind. I don't see a train at all. Loads of static trains.
Not a busy line this, is it? Good lord. No, absolutely not a single train on the entire track. I'm so close, I might as well just run up there. I think it'll be quicker if I run, wouldn't it? A bit disappointing, but um, hopefully by the time we get there... be a train coming back the other way oh my god the kiwis are invading how you doing kiwi good to see you here buddy i hope all is well how's your yacht i'm very keen to see some videos of your yacht i love sailing as you know Beautiful houses. It's really, 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 really very nicely modelled. This just detail everywhere you look. And so far, all of the stations are like super accurate, which is quite important to me, especially on these quiet little routes like this. I don't know this one particularly well, but people who live in Blackpool and who have been on this line I imagine will value that there it is I can see the station dead ahead I like these fences as well I know it's just a, a fence but I don't think you see these fences quite so much these days concrete and barbed wire when I was a young man they were everywhere I mean, everywhere were stopping me from getting in places I wanted to look at. Exploring my surroundings and whatnot. This is a big station. Blackpool North, number one. Someone's put BFC... Well, would you believe it? That's the first one I've seen. And we wouldn't have seen it if I was on the train. Bloody hell. Blackpool FC. Unbelievable. So... <laughs> Are they really expecting us to check this whole area on foot? Can't believe that for a second. Right, come on, those of you smarter than me, what have we got here? What's this? This is nice and you, it's so filthy you can smell it. Fantastic looking thing. It's a motorboat. Okay, fair enough. In my eyes, that's still a yacht. Oh, this is nice as well. Very cool. What model is that? I better get to the station quickly. Keep looking at yachts, Kiwi. Couple of 17 footers, couple of 20 footers. 
I even looked at a 31 footer and I very nearly bit on that one, I tell you. She was a beauty. But it's the upkeep costs. That's what keeps me away. Just need a decent simulator. And, uh... Get my sailing crush fantasies dealt with without having to spend <laughs> quadruples of thousands of pounds. I'm going to have to cross over here to get on the platform. Keep your eyes open for sand castles. We know they can be anywhere. Oh, there's another one of those. I won't jump on it this time. Let's see how many of these signs need doing. I can see a train. And it's on this platform. I'm going to be quick. I'm going to be very, very quick. I don't think we're going to get enough time to look at this platform properly. So this is Blackpool North, is it? Yeah, Blackpool North. It's a bit dismal. Not as pretty as the other... the other end. Are these not things? Really? They look like they should be things, but they're not. Okay. Kind of cheeky. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, nice. That's quite impressive. None of those are things. All right. Gingerbread man. Got to be done. No golf clubs. At least this one's got food in it. Look. Walnut cake looks nice. Ah, golf clubs. I knew there'd be some somewhere. Ticket in office. How long have I got? There's only two trains. One's going to Sheffield, one's going to Manchester, Victoria. I really need to get that train if I can. Oh, there's one. Get out of my way. Thank you. Very posh. Right. I've no idea what time this train's going. Or what time it is now, rather. So I can either hijack it. It's even got that rattly sound. No driver. Oh, damn it. I can't open that one. What? Right, so I imagine that train is going to continue in that direction. That's the one we, I presume, we would have waited for. What are these things? Hose pipes. Okay, weird. Welcome to Blackpool North. Is there anything down there? I think so. Very quickly check over this side. Oh, hello. This is this is where you're going to find a sand castle, isn't it? Up here somewhere. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> Wow, that's a, that's a hell of a view. Gingerbread man, how cheeky. I knew they'd do something. All right. Anything in here? No. 
Anything down there? See anything? Well, I'm going to jump on this train because I think it's the last one we're going to see. Oh, hang on. Which platform is it going from? It's from platform two. That doesn't seem to make sense. Good lord. Both of these trains have to go back that way. Blackpool North to Manchester, Victoria, 9.53. Time's it now. Why are there no clocks on here? Alright, that's, that's like... 20 minutes <laughs> is there a Sainsbury's outside that takeaway is accurate is it is it really okay I do love it when they they put the effort in to make stuff accurate where's Blackpool Tower then oh there it is <laughs> who spotted that before me ah Ahitsu if that's how you pronounce your use the name definitely spotted that before me why is that door open a bit random uh right what time is this one going i can't get in this one oh. this one is going at 9:43. Blackpool North to Stranraer Harbour. I don't think that's part of our route, is it? Stranraer Harbour. That's going to go the wrong way. It's at 9.43. What time is it now? I think it's nearly 10 minutes away okay let me check the route i don't think that's one we can take it's a very quiet line this there we go. yeah that's not one we can take And Anne's on the sea. It's the Sainsbury's outside. Let's have a look and see if the Sainsbury's is outside. I can't see much that way. Can't tell you that way. Talbot Road, this is. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. I don't see a Sainsbury's anywhere, to be honest. But my spider senses tell me there might be one of those naughty little sandcastles out here somewhere. Nope, oh, they'd be wrong. Oh, look. Looks like a Hillman Imp. Right. Pardon me. Sorry, coming through. So we want to go, ideally, to Burn Nays or back to Kirkham and Wesham. I think to do that, 
I'm going to have to wait for this train. But this is the one that's going back. I'm just confused why the platform thing tells me they're, they're all leaving from platform two. It's that platform there, isn't it? Does this thing actually work? Arkham, the stations are incredibly accurate. Um, I've been looking at... Oh, there we go. That makes more sense. Oh, I get it. I see. Right. It's been a long time since I've been on the train. So, what, what platform is that? Is it four? Get out of the way. The so four is leaving at 9.55, Manchester, Victoria. Maybe that's accurate. I don't know. 9.55. 9.45. That's going the wrong way. So, we need that one. Ah, oh, so no way to speed up time. Right, let me show you actually, whilst we've got a bit of time, I can show you how accurate it is. So this is Blackpool North. So if I bring up... images for Blackpool North Station. So that's the entrance where we just were. Bearing in mind a lot of these pictures are going to be um, like modern, modern day whereas this is set in the 80s. You've got to give a bit of leeway there. Uh, so that's the inside of Blackpool North, you've got massive TVs on the ceiling, loads of lights coming in through the centre. Loads of uh, tall windows there, so we'll just go check that. I think it's going to be accurate. You can see it already. But they're stood looking sort of that way. Just turn my head a bit. You can see that's that's pretty spot on, isn't it? Um, they've got a few extra windows. Oh, maybe I'm the wrong end. I think I might be the wrong end. I'm supposed to be that end. So instead of tellies, they've got these big posters, but... I guess they couldn't recreate that, so to speak. So, I mean, that's pretty damn accurate, right? No Sainsbury's, yeah, sorry. They'll both take me back to Preston. Oh, will they? Oh, well, in that case, I'll jump on the other one. Platform three. Bloody hell, it's getting busy in here. 9.45. Right, okay, we've got f six minutes to wait. Uh, let's just see if I've got any other pictures I can see. the new road in I wonder if there's one outside looking back I suppose that is but it's it's very far away oh wow that's old that's really old a lot of work being done there It's obviously been modernised quite a bit. Oh, that's the entrance. That's quite a nice one to look at. Uh, that's kind of... Let's just make sure we got a door open. Kind of there-ish. Let's just 
to if I stay on the other side. So the, everything here is blue, and they've gone for red. So I wonder whether maybe that's something. And also it says Blackpool North above the door, and here it says Welcome, welcome to Blackpool. So but you can see the, the fence railing is there, the stopper is there. This yellow paint isn't on the floor. They've got the hose pipes, which is interesting. I thought that was a bit weird that they put that in, but they've actually done that. You know, as best as they can. They haven't recreated it, but at least they've... Uh, at least they've done something. Well, we must be getting close to kickoff time. I'm going to sit up front if I can. Wait for our driver to turn up. Hey man, how you doing? Nice to see you, Scotty. Oh, here's some... Here's some better pictures. I'll say that. Platform seven and eight. There aren't really that many decent pictures of Blackpool North, which is a, a bit odd. So that's on platform three looking back. Oh, whoops. It's probably the best I can do right now. So we're on platform three. You can see the Blackpool Tower is there. In fact, you could even see the water tower there that's been recreated. They've even got white buildings there. They're quite prominent. There's a little hut there. An industrial building off to the left. It's pretty damn accurate. It, it's really quite good. Car park and whatnot. Missing all the electrics and stuff, but, you know, this is pre-electric era, I guess. Oh, hello. Where did he come from? So I'm guessing, I don't know if we can get up here, I don't think we can. Could, I suppose. Racing World 4, Blackpool. Got 9 out of 10 rating there. See if it says I love the whistle. That's from the guard, I'm assuming. Yeah, nice. Shut the door, mate. Trying to kill us or something.
Haha, -ha, this is cool. <laughs> Imagine if you could actually do this. Imagine if you had some sort of pass. Some sort of uh, authority to allow you to just jump on any train and go anywhere you like. Get in the front cab if that's what you want to do. See if I can get Blackpool before it goes. Just. That is nice and loud. It's such a shame you can't get in there. Fast line, nice. Ah, that's better. Nice casual drive now. Tractor. Strange, I just don't see any trains on the line at all anywhere. It'd be kind of nice if there was a skip to the next train button or something.
again. We're not stopping. We have to slow down for the... Uh, station I'm on a permanent lookout now for um, sandcastles because that was very sneaky that one that we found earlier is the gaming shed fully complete do you know what you cook I don't think <laughs> I don't think it's ever going to be fully complete I don't think there is a fully complete version of it why only yesterday I was speaking to the production teams about uh, having a dedicated helicopter system set up which would mean having a fourth system in here which is impossible well theoretically impossible I don't even want to think about it but uh, it's as up and running as it's ever been that's for sure and um, I'm very much looking forward to bringing some some content to the channel stuff I like to do my kind of level of realism just like this, you know, jumping on a train and just going up and down and checking out the stations and seeing how realistic everything is. I'm very impressed with the number of cars they've put on this route, by the way. They just seem to be everywhere. I bet you there's a sandcastle here, no? there wasn't one there wasn't one I will be doing a, a shed tour at some point but um, you know hopefully you can see bits of the bit of bits of the system based on uh, bits of the shed rather based on which system I'm running sort of background stuff is a nice route I do like it feels very complete and very honest and very genuine and the stations are incredibly accurate within reason could be more precise but I'd say they're 90% spot on which is a good average I think just like when you're buying sausages you don't want anything sort of below... I used to say 92% meat in a sausage was an essential amount, but I have recently had some sausages that were 85% meat and they tasted really good. So that's my new standard, 85%. They're also like half the price of the 92% sausages, so... If only Dovetail Games would follow that sort of logic. If the route is 90% accurate, then you only have to pay 50% of the price. <laughs> I'd love to see that. Honk honk. Nice little pacer there. I think I'm going to have fun doing the scenarios and stuff. I'll probably look at doing that next week. The only problem is when you're doing scenarios, you, you can't really sort of jump off and have a proper look at the, at the stations and stuff.
still looking out for these sneaky sandcastles. If you see one, please do say something, because it's very easy for me to miss one. Good lord, is this Preston already? I know this is um, this is Leighton, isn't it? No, not Leighton. Why are there no station names on anything? It is where I think. I thought it was. No, we're not stopping here either. <laughs> okay. Well, I won't be going to Blackpool South today then. It'll have to happen another day. It's also a good opportunity to learn the route. Because I don't have any of the HUD stuff up. So I'm very much reliant on the information that's on the track and sort of visual reminders. Not that I have any visual reminders at the moment, but you pick them up as you go along, I suppose. Burn bus. Yeah, no doubt. Well, um, I don't know if it's of interest to you or not, G Cooks, but I'm going to start um, doing a Burn bus football series on a regular basis so I say regular like once a week um, I started one last year but I've had a few wheel related setbacks recently so it's um, kind of knocked me off my schedule if I had one at all but uh yeah, the last time I streamed that, I did. I ran into a few problems on the way home. A lot of stuff started disappearing and stuff. But um, they are updating it. I saw maybe a week or two back, they brought out a new patch. Uh, a new DLC, I think, is coming out as well. Poland or something. Which is nice. So, yeah, I don't know if you're interested in that or not, but... Um, it's going to be coming to the channel. I've got to admit, no offence to anyone from Blackpool, but I've been to Blackpool. I didn't like it that much. <laughs> there were parts of it I thought were nice. But I've only been there once and I did get robbed. So that did taint my memory of it, I'm sure. But uh, I had no idea that the outskirts of Blackpool were so... Um, Rural. Lovely. Look at that. Look at the amount of growth that's on that station there. That's awesome. I don't remember that station at all. I must have flown through it.
France. Oh, the Polar one is out now, is it? Yeah. Yeah, I think France was about the last time I sort of played it with any sort of consistency. I still think it has one of the most realistic uh, motorway driving experiences. Although the um, turn on and turn off for the uh, for the motorways are, are still awful. Preston. I recognize the steeple. That's an impressive entrance to uh, to a station that is. There is so much visual sort of eye candy both near and far it's great really good They must have started this in then. <clears throat> I can see it's all electrified here. Did he just go through a red light? Surely not. I'm going to have to check back my video. I'm sure all four of these were red just then. Where did that... <clears throat> Where did that bloody train come from? Could have jumped on that one. It's a nice little transition there, actually. We're going through down onto platform six, which uh, I think is a dead end for this line. I could be wrong. No, it can't be. It's 
some windows and stuff there, broken ones. Right, so this is going to take me down... Is it going to go off this way, or is it going to head straight down? I think it's going to head straight down, isn't it? I'm wondering where that train's going. Press space bar to jump. I was trying to jump over the over the fence. Right, so where are you heading? Bristol Temple Mead. Eleven past ten. What time is it now? Is that going to take us down through Olmskirk? Does anyone know? We have to take a gamble, I guess. Going a bit of first class, shall we? Nobody ever sat. Nobody ever sits in first class. This is how I always used to travel. Yeah, well, I'm hoping so, G Cooks. Um, just trains, I think, have produced some of the best um, DLC content for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, although I don't play it, the the old train sim, <clears throat> like the original one, I think they've done quite a lot of stuff for that. So I suspect they'll be doing more. I hope so, because this is very detailed. <clears throat> it's a bit short for my liking, but it's very, very detailed. Well, I say it's a bit short. I've not actually uh, done the whole route yet. But it's not too bad. Depends how long it is to... Get all the way down to the other end. Well, I'm hoping I'm on the right train for this route. Difficult to tell when it's the first time you've been on it. It's not really um, enough information. Doesn't tell you where the train stops. Like each of the stops or anything like that. There's no actual timetables out anywhere. I don't know why they don't do that, because that's just a static image. That wouldn't take too much uh, performance or whatever. I'm going to go find the time. Oops. Gotta be a clock here somewhere. There we go, ten past ten. That's us. Lovely stuff.
So I've already tried going this way once. Uh, this is east as opposed to uh, north. I thought it was north earlier. We ended up going straight off the end of the uh, route. So if that happens again, I'll probably wrap up at that point. But um, I'll be back to uh, check out the rest of the stations. And hopefully, if I can, grab some of the um, collectibles and stuff that's there. I've never done that. I've never got 100% of the collectibles on any of the routes ever. I think I've come close maybe a couple of times, Trains in World 2, but uh, yeah I don't think I've ever got a hundred percent. It's going to be difficult to get all of the sandcastles because they seem to have positioned those in some really obscure out of the way places. You're going to have to sort of walk the track almost to find them. I don't know whether or not I want to do that. Oh, uh, looks like we've hit encoding lag again. Oh, that's so weird, I don't know why... Oh, because the replay buffer started again. Ah, 